close enough now based on data to be well and true. And of course, to get an apex wrong or just go in slightly hot to a corner, it can really put you behind the eight ball. You use every minute available to you in terms of the program you're trying to work through. You may not always see them on track, but they are very much running to a program. And if you have a, a mechanical... ...on which it has been spread. ...the guys going around taking photographs. So that they're ...and sometimes... We saw a little twitch there from Sebastian Vettel. They use it quite a lot. Um, it's really trouble. This is turning into a little We know what he's not doing. We don't know what he's doing. I mentioned earlier on that. Uh, it's right, mate. But one is likely to see around uh, from the back of the back of the Francis with the from the floor of the car. We're seeing Nick Ovens at the moment knowing that he's seen that he's put a circle and have a circle. He's getting some backing from the bar. We may end up with that in the Insurmountable for him. David Brown hasn't done all the races, so he's, he's a long way back in the championship from Hong Kong. Only 47 points on the board, but he is the fastest driver thus far for the Copper Shell class. Yamaguchi, I mentioned before, is in the championship. He's now the second in class. Fujiwara, he's second in the championship. This is going to be critical this qualifying. Let's keep an eye on the Copper Shell, it's very close. So remember, Yan Bing Zing is your championship leader currently in ninth place. Fujiwara, who is second in the championship and only four points off the lead, is currently sitting fifth. There's a car between them, so Fujiwara needs to get ahead of Yamaguchi. The more points he can make up on Yan Bing Zing this weekend, and remembering qualifying is critical, it's going to be hard to pass around the circuit. So we'll keep an eye on these drivers. Remember, this is. A lot about the classes are not just about outright in the Ferrari Challenge. Six minutes remaining in this qualifying session. I believe Pret hasn't come back out again. He hasn't had to. I believe one throw back inside the two seconds off the back of your mark, and that's David Bourne. I can't see him challenging much further as we continue to watch Amada make his way around the circuit. Amada, currently third in the Trofeo Pirelli Championship. He is a long way off that championship, so it's all about maintaining his third place from James Wyland. And James Wyland's made it relatively easy for him as he is not able to take part in this qualifying session. Let's look at this replay of Vincent Wong, Blackbird Commissioners of Hong Kong. Vincent Wong currently sitting at the 11th place in the moment, just behind Stuka, and he's six tenths off the pace. Final five minutes now of qualifying. 
Ferrari Challenge of Asia Pacific. 488 Challenge cars looking beautiful under lights. There's Adas a long way off the pace at the moment at 237.6. Yes, it's a personal best lap, but a lot of time to find. 234.518. We'll be looking at the car just up ahead of him in Liang. Not insurmountable, six tenths is the time he needs to find. Car's coming in now, looking at the pit lane, just resetting tyre pressures. Making sure the drivers have got the information they require. Plenty of work to do. Chen, fifteenth, back to Kai. Second in that class, and Moon is your class leader and as well as your championship leader.